Hey there, puzzlers! My name is Fleb, and today I want to show you a classic puzzle by Stuart Coffin. It's called the figure eight puzzle, or sometimes the loony loop, although that can be used to refer to a different classic puzzle as well. I didn't buy this puzzle in the store, I actually made my own copy just using some wire, some pliers, and a little bit of yarn. The object of this puzzle is to remove the small loop from the figure eight wire figure. And there's lots of ways which you might think to do this. For instance, you might try taking it through both holes, which looks like it might work except it's still on. You might try taking it around and trying to take it off the structure, or any other kind of manipulation. But no matter what you do, the string seems to stay on. This puzzle isn't famous for its elegance or the complexity of its solution, rather because it doesn't have one. It's actually an impossible puzzle. However, it's extremely difficult to prove that it has no solution. There are two published math papers that I know of about this puzzle. One published by Inter Bertuccioni that uses algebraic topology, and one published by Paul Melvin that uses knot theory, both of which prove the puzzle is impossible to solve. But because of the difficulty of the mathematics involved, neither paper is understandable to the average puzzler. To add to the confusion, the book Creative Puzzles of the World actually has a section on this puzzle. But if you look below it, they've published a false solution. This doesn't actually solve the puzzle. Even to this day, you can find people on forums claiming that despite all of the mathematical proofs, on one magical day 20 years ago, they solved the puzzle. Given the confusion about this puzzle, I think it's worth talking about how you might convince yourself that it's actually impossible. Note that this won't be a proof. I'm not going to be able to prove that the puzzle is impossible. But I will cover a technique that makes it easier to understand why the puzzle is impossible. Let's get to it. One common technique that's used to prove that puzzles are impossible is to make them easier. If the easier puzzle is impossible, then the harder one has to be as well. For instance, one thing about this puzzle is that the wire is hard to bend. So if you make it out of something more flexible, like the yarn that the inner circle is made out of, that would be an easier puzzle. Similarly, you can think about taking the inner circle and unzipping it around the entire puzzle, so that what you have is basically a, a circle of string. So if you do that, it looks something like this. I hope that you can see how these two are sort of the same puzzle, but this one made out of yarn is a bit easier. So the task becomes to figure out what can we learn about a puzzle that's like this, that's more flexible. What is it about wire puzzles that makes them possible or impossible? Well, to start figuring that out, we can start with a very simple puzzle. For instance, this circle with this inner circle of yarn is straight up impossible. There's no way to take it off. And you might think about trying to construct a more complex version of that, like this, which is more similar to the figure eight puzzle, because it's got that center part that goes all the way around, but is impossible as well. There's no way to take apart these two ends, so there's no way to take this off. And that's a general idea. If there's no way to separate the two halves of the wire, in other words, if these make a knot, then there's actually no way to take this piece off. So if we take a look back at our easier figure eight puzzle, take this knot over the top and pull it taut, here's our situation. We have formed a knot at the top and the circle is around the inner part and the outer part. So the easier version of the figure eight puzzle has you trying to figure out how to disentangle these two ends, which are looped through each other and if you pull them tight, form a knot. Intuitively, that might show you that this puzzle is impossible, because there's no way to separate these two ends. Again, this isn't a proof. It's just a way to intuitively think about this, so that when your friend gives you an impossible puzzle, you won't waste your time. While it's all good looking at this on a video, there's no replacement for actually doing it yourself. If you find some string, you can re replicate the puzzle that I've shown here, and get a better idea for yourself just by playing around with it why you might be convinced that this puzzle is impossible. If you are interested in more puzzle content, please subscribe below or follow me on Twitter at Fleb Puzzles. Thank you very much for watching everyone, and as always, 
happy puzzling.